not getting play of the game, being destroyed by the enemy team to the point that they're at your spawn you can't even get out? Well, it's because you suck. And here's three reasons why you suck. Here we go. Reason number one, you're playing Call of Duty. Why are you doing that? Stop it. Get some help. I honestly had this problem when Overwatch 1 first came out or any other team shooter came out where I was just worried about getting points, just getting the kills, and not worrying about, you know, the objective. And I see that a lot. One time, I was literally sitting on the point, everybody ran forward to go fight. Like, what are y'all doing? We're supposed to be moving the point. Or again, I was standing on the point as I was capturing it, everybody else is out there fighting. Like, what are y'all doing? This is an objective-based shooter. You're supposed to be doing your job, not sitting there just worried about getting the kills. You're gonna get them, but stay on the point while you're doing it, please. The second reason why you suck. Team Synergy. I have been seeing too much of the same thing over and over and over when it comes to some characters, and it doesn't work. Big example, Tracer and Sombra. Both of them are built to annoy the enemy team, but if you have both of them running around flanking, Who's in the front lines helping? And I get it, you may be a Tracer main, another person may be a Sombra main, but sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and switch. You need a soldier or soldier out there in the front line shooting while the other one flanks them. Or sometimes you have Widowmaker with Ponzo. Now you got two attackers way in the back sniping where you just have the tank over there just getting harassed and hopefully they're getting headshots. Or they're really not doing anything but not helping at all if you have two snipers far away not, um, taking something that's a little bit of damage with you. And yeah, I know sometimes it's just the luck of the draw that you run, that happen to run into two of the same type of mains, but that's why you gotta have pockets of other characters. Like, everybody can use Soldier, he playing Call of Duty. With that also being said, yes, I know these tanks out here can do some damage, but do your job first. I've seen so many Junker Queens just run out of position and just attack people. Like, what are you doing, Junker Queen, come back? You're not an attacker. Yes, you have more damage than everybody else, and I am one of them. I be going crazy with Junker Queen. I be forgetting, like, I'm a tank. What am I doing? I need to go back to my supports and protect them. <laughs> but oh no, it's not just Junker Queen. Zenyatta, Rohog, and Diva. Those are the main ones who are always out of place. Shout out to those Reinhardt. They be doing their job, but that character is too boring for me, and I would never pick him. And before we get to the last reason, hey, you ever heard of Fresh Cuts? It's kind of like one of those other social media apps, but it's just gaming clips all the time. Basically, basically Twitch clips, but right at the palm of your hand, where you can just sit there and scroll instead of have to click, move, click, move. And hey, I'm one of their content creators. So you want to see exclusive clips? Come on over to Fresh Cuts, link is down below. And trust me, I'll be making some really good video clips up there. And a lot of them are exclusive to Fresh Cut. And the final reason why you suck, you are focused on the wrong character. I've seen time and time again where everybody is aiming at that bit hulking Reinhardt or that D.Va or that Rohog while Mercy and Lucio are standing right behind them healing the crap out of them. Attack, support, first. Especially if you're the attacker, it's a good chance you can slide past the tanks, take out the support and get back. Like a Sombra, all the time I run behind them and I make sure I get any support that I see that's kind of far away from everybody else, hack them, take them out, go back to my team, then help out the rest. There's no point in attacking the tank if both supports are sitting there killing him, because you're going to see the health go down and then go right back up. And I just hate that people keep focusing on the tank like that. You don't focus the tank until you take out those supports. Especially Reinhardt. What are you going to do? Smack you with the hammer from 20 feet away? Don't worry about him. He can't do nothing. Y'all making this man look good for doing his job. Here's a good example right here. I saw Baptiste behind D.Va, I ignored D.Va, took down Baptiste, got back to my position with my team, and then took down D.Va for the rest of the fight. And didn't have to worry about her getting a lot of health back because she had no support to help her. See? Do you understand? Do you understand the- Let me stop. But yes, the priority should always be take out the support first so they can stop healing them then take out whoever you want. You can go after the tank or the attackers after that. Kind of doesn't matter which one you go after. Just make sure the support is down so they can't get back up. 
Well, those are three reasons why you suck. Probably suck a little bit more about that, but I ain't want to get into too many details. I'm not trying to sit here and hurt your feelings. But then again, probably am because I just said that you suck. Because you do. I'm Slick Tactics. See ya.